Hi, I'm Shankar Others, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the Macintosh. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the RAM in Mac Towers. Now, there's two different types of Mac Towers recently that use this design, and they have slightly different internal configurations. For the older ones, the G5, like the one we have right here, the RAM is located in behind this fan. So to get to it, the first thing you need to do is remove the fan. Slide the fan gently out and the RAM is on the motherboard in behind. Now you have access directly to the RAM sticks. And you'll notice, as on PCs, they're connected to the motherboard using little tabs that secure it into place. To get the RAM out, simply pull the tabs carefully to the side and pull the RAM straight out. To put additional RAM in or to replace the RAM, make sure the slot is open and the tabs are off to the side. Align the RAM so that the notch on the RAM matches the slot. Push it in carefully and then re-engage the tabs on the side of the RAM. Once you're done, put the fan assembly back in, aligning the notch and making sure that the connector connects securely into the machine. On the Intel machines, the RAM is connected to daughter boards rather than directly to the motherboard itself. Each daughter board contains a number of sticks of RAM, and to gain access to them, you have to pull the entire daughter board out. To do so, look for the two holes on the outside of the daughter board's edge. Pull on these carefully and the whole thing should slide right out. Now you can lie the daughter board down on a safe, static-free surface and you have access to the RAM slots. As with the G5 model, the RAM is secured to the slots using these tabs on the side. Pull the tabs to the side and the RAM should come out. To put new RAM in, make sure that the notch on the RAM module aligns properly with the slot. Push it in carefully and when it's in, make sure that the tabs on the side are re-engaged. Then when you're done adding the RAM in, push the entire daughter board carefully back in the slot that you pulled it out from until you feel it engage with the motherboard. Anyways, that's a look at how to change RAM on the Mac Towers. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we take a look at some of the other components and how to swap them out, as well as give you an overview and give you a quick look at the iMac.